Okay, great. Oh. Hi. Hi. $800. That's all we're asking. All we're asking. For 800 we can pay the rent and, and we can keep the phone connected and... The rent and the phone. Did you see that? Did you see how the Europeans play their ball under the gusty winds? But, I mean, you know, just, just forget the phone. Um, because for, for 600 we, we, we could pay rent and we can use a payphone down the street. There's a payphone around the corner. <clears throat> You know, it's more just like a knockdown shot. Come on. Bro, help us out. Come on, bro, help <clears throat> us out. Does she ever say anything that you haven't already just said? I mean, is there a fucking echo in here or what? <laughs> yeah, look, Andy, Andy, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, please. Please, Andy. Nope. Come on. No. Bro. No. No, no, net nine, N O. No. Be that way. Yeah, be that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, I will. That is grandma's money you're living on. She left it from me. If she knew where I was living, you know, she would have written me into her will. Well, maybe if you called her every once in a while, maybe she would have known where you lived. If I had known that she was sitting on that kind of money, I would have called her. I mean, she was living in that tenement building, you know, clipping coupons all day. Who knew? I mean, I, you know. You call your grandmother because she's your grandmother, you ignorant junkie bastards. What the f... You know, why don't you get out of here? Okay, okay, man. I mean, that, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. We you know? understand. That's cool. It's, you know, I mean, because... You, you didn't know that she had money, and, and, and you, you called her once a week every week, and you, you visited her, right? I mean, you know, you, you were the good grandson. <laughs> yeah. And I was, I, was a, I was a selfish junkie bastard, right? I mean, it's not... You're right. Well, now you're starting to make some sense. You know, I mean, we're, we're, we're going to leave now. So don't get up because, you know, I mean, you'll miss your golf, and I don't want to... Take her easy. You stay in touch now, you hear? I mean, I'd say give us a call, but, um, you know, come Friday, we're going to be on the street, so. I'll send up a spotlight, you know, like when they need Batman. Only it won't be a bat, it'll be a syringe. Shame on you. Oh, and that's a devastating blow to this young man. Shame on you.